that i'm not really going to uh say much but i did want to comment on this candy burris keith lee and old lady gang situation keith lee a really really big food reviewer on to tiktok was in atlanta for the one music fest stop by candy's uh old lady gang to i guess do a review and uh this was his experience yesterday me and my family were at the one music festival somebody who works with candy birds walked up to us and said they've been trying to reach us since we got to atlanta he said he'd been constantly emailing me and constantly dming me for me to come to old lady gang i got it let's try it and rate it one through ten as you can see i don't have any bags in my hands me and my family showed up and we attempted the order before we got here we called the number they had connected on yelp three times no answer we tried to order through DoorDash and it said it was temporarily closed. So when we pulled up, I sent my family in to order for us. They said on the weekends, due to being busy, they don't do any takeout at all. Hey, you need to go order? No, we don't do food on the weekend. Oh, okay, so sit in dining. Yes. Okay, thank you, sweetie. We appreciate you. Which is completely understandable. So what we decided to do is my family's gonna go eat. They're gonna come bring the food out while I'm sitting in the car so they have no idea I'm here. My family asked how long the wait was to be seated. They said an hour to an hour and a half. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. She also said they didn't have any reservations available, so they didn't take out any number, any contact information, nothing. My family then came and relayed that message to me, and I decided to go in myself. We walked in, and we were greeted by a nice young lady. And then I met some amazing people who were eating there, and we took some pictures. God is amazing. As soon as me and my wife were done taking pictures, the lady said the table was ready. As always, I don't want any special treatment. I want to be treated like everybody else. I pay for my food like everybody else. I'm a normal person. I'm a normal customer. Things like this is exactly why I do reviews the way I do. Just because I have a certain amount of followers on social media don't make me different from nobody. My mom, my mom-in-law, my sister, they all paying customers just like me. So I want them to be treated just like me. So I asked how long the wait time has been today. She said an hour to an hour and a half. So which I then asked, how were you able to sit me in five minutes? This is her response. How long are you looking for as far as wait time? I'm just going to sit up there. Five minutes. I'm going to wait. This is how came. Again, my family just attempted to eat there less than two minutes ago. I then told her I changed my mind. We're going to go eat somewhere else. And I said, God bless you. And I walked out. On second thought, it's okay. We're we going to go eat somewhere else. Though. I appreciate it, though. For sure. Thank you. God bless you. Y'all have a great day. Have a good one. Have a great day. I'm gonna be very transparent and honest. I am frustrated. Me and my family just trying to eat food. That's all we try to do. At the same time, while I am frustrated. I understand we are all humans. I do not agree. I do not support. I do not condone shaming this business based on my experience. Like every city we've been to since we've been on food tour, I go to an array of restaurants from mom and pop shops to staples of the community to super popular to places nobody know about. And Atlanta has definitely been a unique experience for me and something I'll never forget. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, genuinely. But I'm a normal person and I want to be treated like everybody else. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. And I'm not playing. I understand everybody got their own opinions on situations, but don't go leaving them zero star reviews. You ain't never been here before. If you like to, come experience it yourself and then leave your reviews. But just leaving a review based on my experience is crazy in my opinion. God bless you. So it was one thing that the restaurant didn't do to go orders, but it's another thing that he sent in family members to try to reserve a table. To his surprise, they don't really do reservations. They don't take down names nor phone numbers. So I don't know how you're supposed to, I guess, find out when the table is actually available, when it becomes available. I'm a little bit confused at that situation. Uh, but even crazier is the fact that he uh, finally came into the restaurant and uh, was greeted by fans who wanted to take selfies. And all of a sudden, the host found a table that was going to be ready in five minutes. Okay, mind you, this was two minutes after, right, his family members were told it's going to be an hour and a half wait. Interesting, interesting. It's giving, let's prioritize people with fame and clout, people who are known, public figures and celebrities. Let's talk about it. Well, Keith Lee, he has 14 million followers on to TikTok. So he's a pretty big deal. And so Candy was not about to pass up the opportunity to speak on it. Hey, guys, what's up? It's your girl Candy, and I'm about to speak on it. No, I'm joking. I'm not about to speak on it. I really just wanted to say I do appreciate Keith Lee for stopping by our restaurant and trying to show us love. It is very unfortunate that we couldn't serve him and his family. We have, we would have loved to, okay? But he's right. We don't take to-go orders on the weekends. And the simple reason is because we do love and appreciate the people who come and support our restaurant. On the weekends, we get a lot of community support, people in our city that show up for us, as well as a lot of people from out of town. 
So with that being said, we don't want to overwhelm our kitchen by having to, you know, have such long times for the people who are actually at the restaurant, plus having to do to go orders, because obviously that would make the long the wait times even longer. So that's the reason for that. Um, for those of you, I saw a couple of people was like, why wouldn't they take to go orders? Well, that's why. Anyway, with that outside of that, I want to say thanks to Keith for trying to even show up to our restaurant and show us love. Thanks for trying to bring your family by. And maybe next time we'll still get a chance to serve you. But notice how the real issue was never addressed about how his family members were told that it was going to be an hour and a half wait. And then Keith Lee and all of his glory showed his face. And all of a sudden it's going to be a wait of five minutes. Now listen, the folks are saying, well, the to-go order thing is standard practice. And I'm also seeing some folks talking about how, you know, prioritizing a celebrity or a public figure at a restaurant is also standard practice. Okay. So if that's the case, fine. But listen, here's the thing. If you are already trying to prioritize dining customers over to-go orders by not doing to-go orders, but at the same token, prioritizing celebrity dining customers over regular dining customers, doesn't that contradict the reason why you don't do to-go orders on the weekends in the first place? Call me crazy, call me nuts, call me a hater, which I know you guys will, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. But listen, I really didn't come on here to talk about the restaurant. I just wanted to point out the fact that Candy is a marketing genius and her fans eat it up every single time. Candy kind of framed this TikTok like it was some sort of like, you know, address, right? She's going to address the criticisms of her restaurant. But meanwhile, never spoke to the actual issue of the wait time. A marketing genius. Like I said, her fans eat it up every single time. Like she said a whole bunch of nothing. Let me know how y'all feel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.